Hello world. What is going on guys? A little bit of rough housing with you this morning. Um, it has been a while since I've been uploading with you guys. I, I, I just checked, it's, a, it's been about a month, a month since my uh, my last long form content video. I know you guys have seen a lot of uh, little comment reactions for me, but honestly, I'm not too into that stuff, guys. I did kind of want to play around with it. I thought it was kind of entertaining and it was fun. Um, but yeah, some of you guys have been wondering why haven't I been posting? So I'll keep it really sweet. We'll get into the uh, beef of the video today. We're gonna be doing uh, three projects, house washing, we'll be cleaning a liquor store, and we're going to be doing a really cool uh, stone patio today as well, so uh, we'll be making good money today, but kind of what's been going on the last month of me, uh, number one, number one, I have a girlfriend, so that's been something new in my life, um, I have invested a decent amount of time into that relationship, it actually has been slower, um, I've, I know a lot of guys are feeling this around the whole summer, it's just been a slower summer than we're used to. I did not expect this. We had two straight quarters of uh, of downward trend in the markets, two straight quarters of downward action, basically equals a recession. People were hanging on to their money a little bit more. They're uh, staying a little bit more reserved, not as frugal as they uh, used to be. Car prices, gas prices, inflation, you guys know the deal, okay? All right, at the shop day, Austin. And a lot of people have been asking me what I use for my soap, my surfactant. I use Southern Style Surfactant. This is from Leon John's, uh, I believe. Yeah, Leon's Choice, okay? This is the best stuff that I've found. It smells great. So go ahead and put that in. I got about 35 gallons of SH in there. I just picked up yesterday. A lot of you guys know, or some of you guys know that I'm actually selling bleach now. I'm the new Austin distributor for bleach. So we get about 1,500 gallons delivered every single week. And uh, we're selling to all the local contractors around. So if you're in the Austin area, you can get bleach from us. So that's good stuff there. And uh, that'll all just mix in as we're driving down the road. There should be plenty. And uh, I did have to put a brand new unloader on. So I got a new unloader on there. Um, it was weird, I was at the last job and I was pulling the trigger and could get no water coming out. So it ended up being the unloader, the seals were messed up and I had to get a brand new one on there. So that only cost me about a hundred bucks. So not too bad there. Um, but yeah, we're all good. We got about a hundred, I believe 120, 120 hours on the machine. Let's get to it. If you're interested in introducing some new leads into your new formed business, I want to introduce Local Leads as our new sponsor for the video. Are you a pressure washing business owner looking to drive more jobs? Our platform was built from the ground up to do one thing, increase your leads and help you close more jobs. Local Leads is built for the contractor first and generates 100% exclusive leads. How do we do this? We build city-based landing pages that rank on Google and run the most targeted Facebook and Google ads in the industry. The result is automated, hands-off, exclusive lead generation. You focus on running your business and closing the jobs. We focus on driving high-quality leads. All right, guys, of course I get here and there is a contractor here rebuilding all 
of this fence. So, um, and there are pretty much on all sides of the home. So unfortunately today, uh, and they didn't tell me that, which is pretty frustrating. So unfortunately I'm fixing to just do the front side of the home. We're gonna clean around this uh, wall over here cause they're installing a metal gate today. We'll clean that up. Um, I am scheduled to do the driveway, the house wash, and then clean the gutters on this property. Um, but looks like we're only gonna be able to do the front side of the house wash and we'll take care of those gutters. Um, and then tomorrow we'll come back to the driveway to the back side of the house. Um, so yeah, we'll set up. Uh, as far as this wall, it's pretty thick with black algae, uh, black mold, green algae. Fixing to do a 4% solution on this property. And that should melt away all of that algae mold. So I'm fixing to set you guys up and I'll show you what we're gonna do. All oh, this wall to do. Go over this good old blend manifold, turn the water all the way up. We'll turn the bleach. There is 3% and there is 4% roughly. Turn our bad boy on. Look at that transition, only two minutes. Beautiful transition there. It's been about 10 minute dwell time. This stuff right here is just gonna get knocked off with the wand. It's pretty heavy buildup right there, but front side and the back side look really good. Wow, it's only a 4% come through here with the wand and look pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with that. We're gonna get up on this roof here. We're gonna clean out all these gutters with the blower and then we're going to uh, rake it up. I brought bags and a rake. So um, we're gonna get that knocked out. Um, only thing is we'll probably have to come back tomorrow to finish the driveway and some of the back of the house because all those contractors, there's like four contractors back there moving all the way around the house. They got power tools plugged in the outlets for the nail gun, all kinds of moving parts. And I just don't want to deal with it. So unfortunately I didn't want to have to, but I'm probably going to have to come back tomorrow. So let's get our blower out of here. When you want to get off that darkest ground The gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too
I am not playing around with my doors anymore, guys. I have stained and damaged too many doors and I have learned my lesson. So I got, you can get this stuff from Home Depot. It's like five bucks. It's a nine by 12, perfect. guys i'm at a stopping point um i cannot complete the side in the back until these guys are out finishing the gates i got all kinds of power tools back there so um and they're setting it up all that front area washed this is a 2800 square foot home by the way it goes deep back um so whole front area is washed i had to use five percent four or five percent on this all the gutters cleaned out and uh mostly roof granules guys i did had the intention of bagging it up, but since it's just roof granules, I can't really do that. Obviously they just kind of disappear in the dirt. So it's been about um, an hour and 15 minutes, guys. So I'm gonna come back tomorrow, get all this concrete done and finish washing the back. Um, but I'm actually gonna set you guys up right over here and we're gonna see just how long it takes me to wrap up all my hoses. Okay, so I, I still got, I'm still plugged into water. I still got all my hoses wrapped all the way over there. And I got my ladder right here. It's 1045, so let's set you guys up and uh, let's see what happens. Four minutes to get all those hoses wrapped up. Two and a half years ago, when I had no hose reels, I had 200 foot of high pressure hose, 100 foot of garden hose reel, and then all my soft wash hose, easily 25 30 minutes easily on a hot day maybe longer because i was dead so hose reels are a must all right guys this second project is a really simple one just cleaning this front patio here it's gonna be another five percent pre-treat surface clean a little post-treat action and it should look pretty good old abandoned place on downtown austin getting all fixed up See if I can get them on a house wash too. Honestly, this place is pretty dirty. So, get you set up. The guy's fixing to be here in a second, so I'm sure I'll be talking to him. And uh, look at all this beautiful vegetation. It is beautiful out. 989 degrees. Clear skies. Perfect. Shout out to my lovely girlfriend for packing me a little protein snack pack. Little cheese board, hard boiled egg, and some apples. Hell yeah. All right, guys, not too much filming there, but that was 20 minutes. Pre treat, surface clean, two post treatments of 7%. Looks really good. It's still wet, guys. Once that dries, it's going to look fantastic. Post some before and after pictures right here. And uh, now I want to go clean a liquor store, guys. This is one of my quarterly cleanings. We're just cleaning up the front of that building which is like an easy $200 for like five minutes. So we'll go get that done. <sighs> Slammed that protein snap pack. All right, on to the next one. All right, guys, we are at the last project. Do this quarterly, coming over here and get on these cobwebs off at Zeke's Liquor. Will take me literally five minutes for an easy 200 bucks. All this stuff up there get knocked down pretty nicely.
back at my place, made a pretty good time. It's about 1.45, so I'm pretty happy about that. A um, little bit of closing thoughts for you guys. Uh, it was kind of funny, actually. I was on the way home, and I stopped at the gas station, grabbed myself a quick Pedialyte, get some uh, electrolytes down in me. And uh, a pet peeve that of mine is just uh, seeing people playing the scratch-off lottery tickets. It's just, I don't know why, guys, it just pisses me off. You know, sitting in line at the gas station, you have these guys scratching, you know, having a list of, they have a, you know, a stack of cash, you know, in five, fives. They go and they give five to the attendant and they get a scratch off. They go around the corner, they scratch it, win nothing, or they scan it, right? They go back to the attendant, get another 10, another $20 card, a $10 scratch off, and they're going to and back, to and back. They're going outside and they're scratching it, going back inside and getting back in line, paying the scratch offs. And it just pisses me off that there are so many people out there, or spent, people out there spending their money on this crap that if you flip the, those scratch offs over, it literally tells you the odds of winning the main prize. In most cases, it's one in like 400,000. You literally have a better chance of just, instead of betting on the stupid game, to bet on yourself and take that $50 a, a week that you probably spent on, spend on scratch offs and starting a business idea, freaking investing in the stock market you know, saving for some real estate purchase or whatever. But instead, there's so many people out there that play this stupid game of betting on stupid scratch offs and they win nothing. Guys, if you're one of those people, hope that just resonates in yourself, that you're spending money every single day on crap that you know you're never gonna win. Instead, instead of betting on, you know, nothing, take that money and bet on yourself for a change. Bet on yourself. With that note, I'm out of here, guys. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.